there is this guy right here in Florida, Ron DeSantis. Here he is explaining how he will hold Disney accountable for what they did and actually how this is connected to everything that we've discussed over the last 40 minutes or so. So, um, you know, what I said was last year uh, that Disney will no longer have its own government. Uh, Disney will live under the same laws as everybody else, and Disney will pay the debts and taxes. And that's exactly what's going to happen. So the question was always, is it going to be under state control or local control? I actually, initially, when we did the bill uh, to sunset it, and we knew we were going to have to take additional action, I was agnostic between those. But then what started happening was you had Orange County saying they were going to raise people's taxes by thousands of dollars and doing this. Now, I think that was all a dog and pony show, but then I'm thinking to myself, is that really something that, that I want to uh, uh, allow them to be able to do? Do I trust them being able to handle the municipal debt and all this stuff? And so I'm not, uh, I, I'm not, uh, I don't have a lot of confidence in that. So it's going to be a state control board. Um, there is absolutely, there's absolutely going to be accountability. Uh, the corporate kingdom has come to an end, and that will be the case when this is enacted. Look, whether it is fighting the ideas of the World Economic Forum and one government to rule us all, one ring to rule us all, or whether it's the governor of Florida going after one of the giant corporations in the world, and you may remember you may remember this is less than a year ago when this whole don't say gay nonsense came out and, and Disney was going all in on trying to destroy DeSantis and everything else. Everybody in the mainstream media was siding with Disney and saying, you can't defeat Disney and this is gonna hurt DeSantis at the ballot box because they're in Orlando and they have 30,000 employees in Florida or something like that and you can't fight their money and you can't fight their influence. And he did it and he won by 20 points. Disney's stock is crashing. They're coming crawling back to him. Bob Iger, the new CEO who replaced the guy, Bob Chapik, who was, who was basically a, a hostage from his woke employees. Iger is now reversing course on some of what they're doing with their programming. So you can win, but you gotta get involved, whatever that means to you.